you just I feel so bad can you see how she look this is what she's doing I thought about that but she was behaving just like this when she was in here with all the other goats so who knows really so it's the same day that I showed you that I finished the kidding pen and I was saying on that video that I was gonna wait until Friday to put Calera here at night. She is a very independent doe. She is not, you know, she, she's fine with humans. She's not too attached to anybody in the herd. But I had full of stuff over there. My son put them in thinking I was gonna leave that empty and I put them all here. And when I came, well, he came and back and said, Mom, Clara's acting weird. And Clara acting weird is acting differently because she's pretty weird. She is ruminating and everything, but she's been kind of behaving a different way. Like he would stare into a wall as if she was in labor. She, a few minutes ago, was staring into that wall. It's around 6 o'clock, but um, yeah, she's acting different. Her ligaments are still there. I then started wondering and checking ligaments on the other girls who are, not, who are pregnant but not this far along and, you know, kind, kind of trying to see if I was feeling for the right thing because then I was questioning myself. But I don't know. Um, I also decided to separate her every night until she kids because I spent the day here working in this pen and I saw how crazy everyone is. I mean, I shared a video with you yesterday about how, or a few days ago, about how they are being extra mean to each other and, and Clara is being kind of mean. But at the same time, she's the only one that this is this big pregnant. And I saw Annabelle once she stepped on her belly to try to reach for something and Clara fell to the ground, like her back legs just couldn't hold the weight. Um, and then she was headbutting one of the girls and ended up headbutting the side, not the pregnant side, but the other room inside of Clara. So I think there's too much going on. Uh, hormones being out of whack as of recently. And this sweet girl, who is the sweetest girl to humans, has been a little bit crazy. I mean, she's the craziest of them all. Can you see how she... Look, this is what she's doing. So is she in pain? Uh, I really don't know. What worries me is that her ligaments are still there. <sighs> Today is day 139. Can you see? So can they have babies, even if they have ligaments? I don't know. I feel like she wants me to stay with her <laughs> and being 
it's being extra dramatic. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. Is that nice? Is that nice? Yeah? Okay. So I think the plan is to come and check every hour until bedtime, I guess, for us. And then uh, depending on how I see her at uh, the last check, I'll decide if I want to keep doing it every hour or every three hours and just keep an eye on her. It's, it's just concerning that she has her ligaments and that she's acting as if she was in labor. Maybe she's just losing her ligaments. Maybe that's what it is. But, I mean, look at that. She just... I feel so bad. Now she's been doing okay all day. You saw her if you watch the video about this thing that I did here. Um, the kidding pen remodel, I guess. But, I don't know. I don't know if just things change right now. I'm gonna check her ligaments. I'm gonna get started with dinner and then I have a few things to do on my computer. So I might bring it here after dinner, after feeding everyone and just sit with her and see if she's ruminating as she should be. Um, maybe she just needs some probios. I'm thinking uh, maybe that will help her if she's not ruminating enough. Maybe she's acting like this because she's not with another goat. Thought about that, but she was behaving just like this when she was in here with all the other goats. So <sighs> who knows really. not chewing on my toes. She's not acting like herself. And I don't know if I mentioned, but today's day 139, so technically she could go into labor at any moment. And those babies should be okay. And I don't want to leave Annabelle with Clara either because, again, I saw a few things. And they weren't fighting with each other, I guess. I mean, she stepped on her because she wanted to get some, do something. I just hope that she didn't headbutt Clara enough to trigger something, maybe early labor. Um, I'm very good at second chances, Annabelle. But we're going to have to get it together, girly, because I can't have you being this mean to everyone. Okay? Clara, she's eating minerals right now. But I wanted her to be relaxed and have as much hay as she wants if she chooses to eat hay. But I haven't seen her eat hay. And she had a few pellets in there with the minerals, so, but they're gone, so I'm assuming she's eating just the minerals. My trusty Barter Collie, who is the bodyguard. What do you think, Oops. These lights on. <laughs> Everyone was laying down. Are you feeling better? So it's around 8 o'clock. I just finished with dinner, took a shower, and did a few things around. And now I came to check on Clara. She is still not laying down, but she seems to be a little better. Or at least not as, you know, labor a goat in labor kind of look uh, she's trying to chew my 
<laughs> camera right now so <laughs> but she seems to be okay now um, her ligaments are still there so they kind of come through here they kind of connect to this big bone here in the back and they hook okay they are kind of squishy she is ruminating which is what I wanted to see from her okay talk to Arisha at Hanson Never Done Farms which is where we got our goats and I figured if Clara did anything like this before or if she behaved this way before she actually lost her ligaments uh, she's the one that is gonna be able to tell me and I explained everything and she said just to keep a close eye on her I also talked to Heather at Sage and Stone Homestead uh, and she wants me to scratch her neck what she wants. <laughs> oh, up? Okay. So anyways, I haven't heard from Heather. I don't know. I just don't have internet. So I have to get close to this hot spot to get some signal. So I'm going to go and check and see. <laughs> What's that nose? Everyone is kind of keeping up <laughs> with Clara. She mentioned in one of the comments recently that she... I think she had a goat that kitted without losing her ligaments or something like that. So I'm waiting for her to get back to me. But everything that I'm seeing right now, it's uh, kind of encouraging. Uh, Clara is starting to eat hay. <laughs> so... She wasn't eating hay when I left. She wasn't interested. She had her pellets, her alfalfa pellets, and she wasn't interested in hay. But now she seems to be interested and she is eating a little bit. I also was talking to Arisha and she was telling me how it's pretty normal that they hit on each other and that it take a lot for a, a hit that it, you know, to be strong enough to kill one of the babies or hurt the mom. Harisha assured me that it happens all the time and that it's not uncommon and that it, it shouldn't have to do anything with what's going on with Clara. So I am a little bit more at ease, I guess but what Arisha told me and how it's pretty common that that happens she loves this camera I don't you know I'm sure she doesn't know what it means to have a camera in your face but she loves the attention of this camera on her stop see now she's kind of back to normal Arisha was telling me you know she may have had just a bad day with her girls um, I share with you this week about how everyone's been let's smoke up there <laughs> checking on her mama how everyone's been a little bit crazy and how there's been a lot of fights between the girls nothing that you know that they're hurting each other or anything like that but headbutting and and being kind of crazier than normal so she may have had a really bad day maybe that's what it is but i since i watch the things happen i figured oh maybe there's something you know something bad happened inside or something like that and but she may have had a hard day with the girls she may have been tired of dealing with the nonsense <laughs> Um, but she seems fine now <laughs> she's scratching herself she's eating her ligaments are there squeegee but still there and maybe she did have a bad day well thankfully I got everything 
that was worrying me on camera because at this point I think people are gonna start to think that I am a little bit overreacting every single time but I promise that the way that she was behaving and how she wasn't moving and how you know she was kind of uh, concentrating on something like she was in pain uh, her tail was kind of in a hook not really um, but maybe down in a weird way so it looked like she was in labor and maybe she just was in pain labor <laughs> labor means pain so maybe she's just in pain and uh, now she got better maybe she just needed to rest by herself maybe she just needed to be by herself but she's like kind of yawning and I still don't feel a hundred percent okay of leaving her or night, so I am going to come back and she's going back to the minerals so I'm gonna refill those minerals because I feel like uh, she's looking for something that she's lacking she hasn't touched the baking soda but she she's being on the minerals all right Clara was it that you had a really bad day mama is that it? Well, I'm glad you're feeling a little better. I will be back later to check on you, okay? Do you see her tail? <laughs> Ligaments are soft. They're not gone, but they're soft. <laughs> I think, I think Arisha was right. You're just, just having a bad day. Well, as long as you start to feel better, girly. I'm gonna let you sleep for a minute, okay? I'll be back later to check on you. But I think you're doing good. It's the next morning, so I'm gonna go check on Clara and let everyone out. Hi. Did you have a good night? You seem like you did. She seems to be hungry. Now I'm feeding her separately so she can eat enough. Hey everyone. Today, as I mentioned, is Wednesday. I kept an eye on Clara throughout the night. Between midnight and six o'clock, I didn't check on her because um, I thought that she was doing better. I mean, the last time, the last few times I checked on her, she seemed to be back to normal. She wasn't staring at a wall or, you know, showing signs that she's in pain. Her tail was fine. So I figured, well, it's probably something that was bothering her maybe she was in pain for that time but she was over it so I checked on her this morning at 6 I let them stay in for a little while longer because it was super cold and still dark at 6 in the morning and so I let her stay there and now I got her out and she seems back to normal now, I don't know if you keep goats and if you keep an eye on them very closely, I guess. But the, my girls don't really fight that much. I mean, they do, but it's not constant. But as of recently, I want to say this week, they've been fighting nonstop. And they're like always with their hair up and looking up uh, for somebody to pick up a fight. I don't know if it's hormonal, um, the three older girls are pregnant, well Annabelle and Mocha should be both pregnant and uh, Clara is super super pregnant, she's coming this way, she's like excuse me, pay attention to me, are you okay? Are you okay Clara? So anyway, it was a false alarm, I'm glad she's doing better, I'm glad that she is not showing any signs of 
you know, that she's in pain. Um, I mean, I call them signs of labor because I guess that's when they're in pain. But maybe they do these things when they're in pain for other things. Um, maybe she just had a rough day, like Arisha was telling me, with her girls being a little extra wild and fighting over everything. But she's chewing the cud. Right now she's looking at me uh, on the other side of the fence because otherwise they wouldn't let me talk to the camera alone. So she is back to normal. I'm glad that whatever it was, it passed. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm not worried about her babies being okay after all that drama yesterday. Arisha, as I mentioned last night, she said that it's super normal and that it would take a really terrible hit for her to lose a baby or to get hurt internally. So that's kind of uh, making me feel a lot better. But I was just so upset with Annabelle yesterday because she wasn't doing it on purpose. Like she wasn't even fighting with Clara, but the things that she was doing was actually ending with a result of hitting Clara somehow. The last straw was when she tried to reach something on the wall and she stepped on Clara and Clara couldn't hold Annabelle's weight so she ended up like opening her back legs and landing on her belly. Again, it didn't seem like a, a weird... <laughs> no, she's hiding behind the, the goat house. Um, it didn't seem like a big hit or anything but you never know. I mean, she's so pregnant. And I, when I say she's so pregnant, is because, you know, she doesn't look wide like other does do. She just doesn't. Um, she looks more like her, her belly goes down. And it's, it's interesting because it's easier to feel all those babies down than it's on the side. So I guess that's the way she carries those babies. So it made me feel sad about seeing her on the floor and Annabelle trying to climb on her so but you know hopefully everything it's okay um we still if she decided to get tonight she sh her baby should be just fine um there's a oh I think he just flew away there's a woodpecker oh he's here Let's see if I can show you. Right there. Anyway, after the woodpecker interruption, um, I'm gonna do a lot of things inside today. I'm gonna keep an eye, of course, on Clara, check her throughout the day, at least once before bedtime. But um, I just have a lot of things to do and catch up on the computer. So I guess it's gonna be an inside day for me, even though I'd rather be starting spinach and other things in the garden. <sighs> but you can't always do whatever you want. Um, just have to get some things done. So anyways, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you going through all this process with me if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe before you leave turn on the notification so you can be notified every time there's a new video and if not can you hear all those birds listen spring is in the air apparently uh, and it's so funny because once you move, I think a lot of people that move to the country or live in the country can say this, but it's a woodpecker. It's so easy to hear the littlest of sounds. Like you're so used to the quiet that when you have this background noise, like this woodpecker who's having the time of his life and I can't seem to focus the camera on, or there's those two birds that are talking in the background. Like, I love the morning time.